Justin and Selena pack on the PDA at his dad's wedding. Ariana Grande pulls out of a surprise tribute for Manchester victims. And Khloe Kardashian has a scary pregnancy complication. All that and more on today's Rundown. What's up guys, welcome to The Dirt. It is Wednesday and we cannot wait to tell you guys about the Niall Horn impression that Liam Payne can do because it is so spot on. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. But we're gonna kick this show off with an update on Khloe Kardashian's possible pregnancy complications. In a new promo for the next episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians airing this Sunday, mark your calendars, Khloe seems to be in a lot of pain. In fact, she's in so much pain that she can't even manage to get up from the couch and walk on her own two feet. So we're not sure yet what is actually causing her complication. So we'll have to tune in on Sunday night's episode to find out. But what we are sure about is that Chloe cannot wait to get her old body back. Chloe recently shared photos from the episode of Revenge Body with Chloe Kardashian that aired on Sunday and captioned them, old pics, but I'm loving my revenge body looks on tonight's episode. Hi, old body, I'll see you very soon, I promise. This is not the first time that Chloe's expressed missing her pre-pregnancy body, but luckily her fans are super encouraging right now about embracing her pregnancy during these changes. One fan wrote, changes in the body are worth it. And someone else said, you'll have a new body and you'll love it even more than your old one. I'm assuming that Chloe is gonna be fine based on the fact that this is shot probably a couple of months ago. Um, so I think there's a happy ending to this story, but they really know how to up the ante on the drama in these teasers, right? Oh, I know. I, every time I see a teaser, I'm like, I cannot wait for Sunday's episode. And then when I watch it, I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. But because it is a pregnancy complication and we all know Kim has had many, um, I feel like this is a serious, probably more of a serious episode that we're gonna see upcoming this Sunday. And yeah. I just feel bad for Chloe. I feel like they do have a lot of issues with pregnancy complications and that's scary. I know. but. Luckily, they have the best doctors in town, and you know what? Bed rest, it's not the worst thing. Well, sometimes I feel like the world is coming to an end, but thank God Justin Bieber and Selena are doing fine, Erin. Oh, they're gonna survive the apocalypse. They're going to survive because they are in Jamaica for Justin's dad's wedding. So Justin's dad wed his bride, Chelsea Rebelo, in an intimate destination wedding, but naturally all eyes were on Jelena. The couple displayed serious affection during the tropical wedding weekend in Montego Bay, and by the looks of it, Selena looked like part of the family. She clearly gets along with Justin's family and was the perfect date for his dad's big day. Dozens of photos from TMZ of Jelena in Jamaica have surfaced online, and the two seem absolutely inseparable. Photos before the wedding show the two in a loving embrace, hugging by the pool, with Justin planting a kiss on Selgo's forehead, and other pictures from lunch at the pool show the two sitting with Justin's dad while Justin cuddles Selena with his arm around her neck. The small laid back beach ceremony took place in the backyard of a villa, and Justin and Selena looked so happy at the small 30 person wedding. They were laughing, relaxing in every photo, and TMZ TMZ reports that while Justin didn't make a toast or sing at his dad's wedding, Justin and his younger siblings, Jasmine and Jackson, were all a part of the wedding party. And Justin and Selena continued their romantic getaway the next day in Jamaica. This fan snapped an Instagram photo with the two lovebirds in the background writing, when you just trying to get a cute pic on the beach and some couple photo bombs you. That is definitely a couple that I would not mind photo bombing. I don't think they <laughs> photo bombed her. I think she photo bombed them. Yeah. Something tells me like, if I'm on the beach, I'm not taking a photo of the stairs. Do you know right. what I'm saying? Um, I just love that they're so in love and Selena is so a part of his family. Like she fits in his life so well. We know on her side of the family, things are obviously a little complicated, but it's nice to know that like Justin's family totally <laughs> embraces Selena and that they are really going strong and doing yeah, great. Yeah, you can tell from the PDA. It's I feel like it's more than just like kids making out. Like I feel like they're really connecting right now. Oh right. my gosh, I sound so ridiculous. No, it's true. No, but I saw the photos. The I like can see, I can see that they're, they're doing pretty pretty good it seems yeah. like and it's not like Justin and Selena are back together it's like they're I feel like they want everyone to take them seriously and they are in it for the long haul hey but also being at a wedding kind of does that to your relationship that's true you know what I mean like you could go to a wedding with just somebody you're, you're just kind of interested in right and you all of a sudden fall in love because love is in the air and weddings just oh make you want to get married so and then I don't you know. wake up the next day and you're like why what? did I do that <laughs> Well, in some sad Ariana Grande news, you guys, she is sadly having to pull out of performing at the 2018 Brit Awards because like so many of us right now, currently she is sick. A source confirmed to E! News that 
Ariana got ill and was planning on going to the event anyway just to attend, but then her doctors ordered her to not fly. Ariana originally secretly agreed to participate in a tribute to the 22 victims of the Manchester terrorist attack last year. A source said it was utter chaos when the call came in that Ariana couldn't do it. It's race against time to get someone to do what is very much the centerpiece of the entire show. The tribute is expected to be, quote, the biggest talking point of the night. So right now, Liam Gallagher is reportedly in talks to replace Ariana Grande at the show. And you know, these things do happen. I know it's so disappointing because, you know, Ariana has been such a champion for um, this particular instance. Right. Um, and you would really want her to be there. I'm sure she desperately wants to be there. Totally. But being sick is also very difficult. And she's been through a lot in the last year. I think mm -hmm. self-care right now is a a very important thing for Ariana Grande, mm -hmm. so I'm glad that she's kind of taking care of herself first and foremost. And if her doctor says she's not allowed to fly, yeah, that's a big deal. Don't get on that plane. No. Yeah, whenever I see, you know, when Lady Gaga canceled her tour or whenever musicians take a break because they are sick, like Justin did as well, I always feel so bad for them because you know that they just wanna be there for their fans that paid tickets. I mean, this, is, this instance is even more mm -hmm. important because of the Manchester event. So I feel bad for Ariana, I hope she feels better and hopefully the event still goes well and still brings awareness. All right, Erin, now for my favorite part of the show today. My Same. favorite news today is Liam doing an impression of Niall Horan. And it's so funny because whenever I see like people from One Direction in the news, I just miss them so much. But they're all still friends. They all still talk, sort of. I know, but this impression just really made me want Brought One Direction back. back together. <laughs> Liam did a hilarious Niall Horan impression on the radio. The show started with host Roman Kemp doing a seriously impressive Harry Styles impersonation. And we may or may not have just listened to the show without knowing it wasn't really Harry. And honestly, just extremely disappointed that Harry wasn't really the one interviewing Liam. It will definitely make you guys do a double take. Good morning. How's it going? My name's Harry Styles. You're listening to Capital Breakfast with a co-host, Liam Payne. So thankfully, Liam was just as impressed as we were, and his reaction is perfect. Honestly, I looked at you for a minute, and you started to grow, like, hair and stuff. And you, you, for some reason, I even took a flashback, and you were in, like, some form of Gucci suit that was really loud. Roman wasn't the only one who got in on the fun, though. He then prompted Liam to do his version of Niall Horn's thick Irish accent. And to be honest, we were expecting it to be way better, especially because they spent so many years together. Watch the crack there, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> this is basic. It's so sad for now, because everyone just goes straight basic, <laughs> stupid Irish voice. I like it, but you like Top the Harry impression. As well. And I've never even heard him say, and in other Liam news, things aren't looking good for Cheryl and Liam Payne. Although they've only been married for two years, their two different lifestyles seem to be a big strain on their relationship. Because of Liam's solo success, he's constantly on the go from city to city, leaving his wife to take care of baby bear for extended periods of time. Now, sources close to the couple say they have been battling to stay together, and if it weren't for bear, it's probable that they would already be split up by now. But as you know, it's not just Liam in the scenario. It takes two to tango, and Cheryl's 10-year age gap over Liam, she's 34, he's 24, has also made things difficult for the couple. Despite these big differences in their age and schedule, you'd be happy to know that there's no foul play involved in these tumultuous times because sources close to the couple insist that neither of them has had an affair, and it's very unlike them to do something like that. But according to the Daily Mail, Cheryl was bombarded with questions about her relationship with Liam, and she just could not stay quiet on the matter. While she was taking selfies with fans outside of the event, Cheryl was asked if she and Liam were okay, to which she answered, quote, yeah, we're great. Later on, though, during the event, Cheryl was asked yet again about her relationship with Liam, and she found it very frustrating that the recent breakup rumors could possibly overshadow her current charity campaign. She said, quote, do I find it frustrating? No, it doesn't bother me. My focus is solely on this. It's taken seven years to get here and none of that matters. This is the most important part for me. And if all of that isn't enough to stop people from speculating, Liam helped put all the rumors to rest when he praised his baby mama on her Instagram post. Liam commented on Cheryl's Youth Can Do It photo by writing, quote, very proud of you. How you find time to do this, I'll never know. Over many years, you've put all this together and put your heart into such a great cause. I hope one day I can do the same. And I don't know how I feel about this, Erin. I feel like they are going through a rough patch. I feel like she was probably just trying to keep it together at her charity event, and that's so awful for her to be asked questions, you know, 
amidst this breakup rumor at her charity event that she's worked so hard on. But I don't think, it, I think there's trouble in paradise. Well, I think two people in Hollywood with busy schedules, traveling a lot, working a lot, it's just not a good formula for a lasting relationship. I mean, it's hard enough not being a celebrity and having your relationship work. So I know it's probably a lot more difficult for them than it would be for just a normal person like you and I. Right. Um, but you know, I don't know. I feel like a lot of these rumors come out I don't know if they're true. And I feel like her response to the questions, usually if there is trouble, the celebrity's publicist goes ahead of them yeah. and prep, preps the um, outlet and says, no personal questions. That's no true. questions about the breakup, no questions. Usually the press is prepped ahead of time. So that tells me if they weren't and there are multiple outlets asking her about it, that it may not be a problem yet. Um, and who are these sources? We don't even know. It could That's be true. like an ex-boyfriend of Cheryl who decided he wanted to make a quick buck and decided right. he wanted to say something. So right. I don't know. I know it's hard and there are new parents too. I know it's, it's been, hard. I know, and poor baby bear. I mean, I hope this all works out obviously for Liam. I love them together. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think we're definitely gonna have to keep track of this yeah. because it sounds sad. Well, you guys, that was a big episode of DHR. And if you're watching this right now, I really, really wanted to encourage you guys to subscribe to our channel here on Clever News. We are so, so close. So close to, to 4, hitting million. 4 million subscribers. And that's like a milestone that we're all really trying to get to here on Clever. So if you are here and you're watching it, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you're notified when we upload new videos. Comment in the comments. We're also gonna be commenting a lot today in the video down in the comments. So do all of those things because we wanna get to four million. And also it's free guys. It's so, it takes <laughs> it two seconds. Free. It's free and it'll mean so much to us. So please, if you're watching this, subscribe. But yeah. of course we have some questions for you. Okay. Erin, what do you wanna know? Okay, I wanna know Khloe Kardashian. What do you think her complication is with her pregnancy? I actually don't know much about pregnancy and complications outside of fibroids, which I know Kim had and we both have had issues with fibroids. That's the only thing I know, but let me know in the comments what you think it is. Yeah, and we also wanna know what you guys think of Liam and Cheryl's relationship. Do you think there's trouble in paradise? Do you think it's just fine and maybe this is a rumor? Let us know in the comment section below and we'll be here tomorrow, guys. Hopefully, God willing. Don't forget, subscribe. Do subscribe. it. Subscribe. button. It's free. Click to the left to see Travis Scott speak out about baby Stormy. Or click to the right to see Camila Cabello fangirl over her new boyfriend.